And we are back. Final race for the night here at uh, inaugural night of Evergreen Speedway with our NASCAR mini stocks coming up before we introduce them. Jeff, what are you going to be looking for in this main event? Well, I'm going to be looking for hard-nosed racing. There's this a talented group of guys. They race against each other all the time. They know the idiosyncrasies, the strengths, the weaknesses, and they're going to try to exploit every weakness they see. That's how it's going to be. Yep, and they do know each other very, very well. In the 521 car, Mike Jensen in the number 97 is going to be Nat Barber, Cole Reardon in car number four, and outside of uh, Cole in car number 29, and that's going to be our in-car camera for this race, and that is Dylan Bywald. Thomas Stanford in the 19, in the inside third row, outside of uh, Thomas Stanford is Brandon Brock in the number 94, longtime campaigner in this division, Doug Hines in the 13, and rounding out the field, another one that's been at it for many, many years to Brad Thomas in the number five, so Get them, get them lined up and ready to go. It looks like it the looks caution like lights are out and yeah. the pace car is bringing them down, so we're going green next time. Bye. Mike Jensen here moving up from the Hornet class. First mm -hmm. mini stock race. Look at that car. That yeah. race car is beautiful. Yeah. And I was looking at some of the pictures of it on Facebook. Absolutely fantastically it prepared. It is stunning, as is the number 97. All, all eight of these cars in this main event are here going we go. to be phenomenal fun to watch. Here we go, and they are underway. Green flag is out, and Mike Jensen will take it down into turn number one with my... Uh, Nat Barber in that number 97. Nat has been running mini stocks for many, many years. Great shot from inside. Dylan Bewalt in that number 29 car. And boy, if you guys don't think that they don't work uh, while this is going on, there's a great example. What a phenomenal oh. shot. You see how, how free Barber was right there. That was an awesome save. We are made it through lap Man, number this one. Is a battle for the lead right here. <laughs> this is so cool. What a shot. And look at the RPMs, that thing. This thing is it's just turning. Wound over 7,000. Bewald now outside of the 521 at Jensen and a nice Jensen run. Jensen gets coming. loose and he clears him for the lead. Look at that. That was an incredible shot. Nicely done. Dylan Bewald in that number 29 Volkswagen will take it out of turn number two. The 521, Mike Jensen in the second spot. Nat Barber in the 97. And back Thomas Stanford in that really nice, I really like that white number 19 car. That thing is just a classic design. Good action back and forth too. But Dylan Bewald with a great move a couple laps ago coming out of turn four to take the lead. Yeah, if Dylan's got a favorite song, he's singing it right now. Yeah, After yeah. you have a battle on the outside <laughs> like that and you clear him, it always feels real good, yeah. especially for when it's for the lead. Yeah. He's gapped him pretty good here, too, so shaping up to be a good race for him. And what's even more impressive is the cap that he passed, too. And then, like you had mentioned, Mike Jensen in the 521, his first mini stock, but boy, not his first rodeo at all. He's going to be a, th a threat to be reckoned with all season long. Look at that battle for the second spot. The 97 of Nat Barber down on the inside. Mike Jensen up on the outside. And Barber with a nice bit of power heading into turn number three as we're just wrapping up lap number four. Dylan Bewald looks in his mirror and says, boy, you boys can have all that you want. I'll just continue to try checking out as we are on lap number five. Look at that battle, man. That is just so fun to watch. Kick up a little. I have a feeling that might have uh, been with some intent right there. Maybe get a little bit of mud on that windshield. Shake him up a little bit. That's yeah, how crafty Nat Barber can be. Second, third, fourth, and fifth here all in a throw a blanket over him. Man, and you can just see how slick that it is out there and they're sliding around and bumping into each other and having a lot of contact some good hard nose racing right here these guys run a treaded tire too but i think it's kind of important to note not a lot of tread on them as we sta as see stanford making a move down on the inside of jensen there and that is a great battle for the third spot nab barber is really with a nice run off of turn number four and look at that 19 just muscling his way into that second spot great and impressive move by thomas stanford in that 19. Yeah, his car's working really good on entry in this rain. You can just see how much he can gap the other cars on entry. It rolls the center really good. Doesn't seem to slip a tire too much in the rain. You gotta think he's gonna, over the length of this race, he's gonna contend for the lead eventually. 
Rick and lap number eight out of 30 for our final main event here on the CW11. So happy you guys could join us tonight. And uh, we so look forward to bringing you on the, as much season as we can here on CW11 from Evergreen Speedway. And it's good to see that uh, Dylan Bewald still is just checked out These on this These boys better thing. get on their horseback here because Dylan <laughs> Bewald, he's in another zip code almost. Look at how far ahead he is. We'll try to get a wide shot of it here, but uh, man, I tell you, Bewald has just figured this one out from the get-go. Barber running second. Or no, Barber he's third. In third. Barber's in third. That's right. That's right. Yeah, look at that. Just about almost a, a Stanford's a running second there. Full straightaway lead for Bewald, but Dylan on autopilot right now as he's about half a straightaway. Uh, in the lead over Thomas Stanford. And I think now that Stanford's kind of gotten a breakaway from Barber and from Jensen, uh, don't be surprised. Don't count out that number 19. Yeah, you can't. He's having an opportunity right now to try a lot of different lines. No pressure from behind him. Uh, he's pushing his heads down. His heart rate's coming up right now. <laughs> Sweating a little bit. <laughs> You may have just seen a shot. We've lost one car, the number five of Brad Thomas, who's just kind of had problems all afternoon long out here. But he'll be back, and he'll be strong, and don't count out at all that number five of Brad Thomas. Boy, he's had some incredible main event wins here over the years out at Evergreen Speedway. Nat Barber with a really wicked slide coming out of turn number two. Mike Jensen just seized on that one, as did uh, Brandon Brock in the 94. Cole Reardon is still in this one, too. In fact, Cole Reardon, I think, has moved up into that third spot here as we are working lap number 13. Mike Jensen in that gorgeous number 521. He got out of shape coming in, too. Now they're finally at the point, too, Jeff. Correct me if I'm wrong, but these guys are kind of starting to feel their oats a little bit, maybe starting to push it a little bit more. Yeah, absolutely. And you hear, here we have Thomas, who's chased down our leader here. And... Uh, we kind of had a hunch he would the way that yeah. car is getting through the corner and and the battle for second for third and fourth is shaped up to be a good one also almost not wondering if barber has a tire going down or something because he was really strong and he it's was. just not like him to fade in the middle of the race he gets stronger usually as the race goes on so maybe one of those off-track excursions he picked up a, a a rock or something great helmet cam shot from dylan bewald as we're halfway through our 30 lap main event for the nascar Many stocks here at Evergreen Speedway tonight, and Thomas Stanford continues to impress in that number 19 car. Yeah. Just kind of looking for his spot. He might be content to maybe follow around in the tire tracks of Bewald for a bit before we get uh, down to crunch time here. It's working lap number 16. Stanford with a little bit low line coming out of turn number two. Took a look, but uh, he's going to find a spot, and it may be right here coming into three. Yeah, he's definitely gonna gonna get his advantage on corner entry. He's just he can drive the car in so much deeper than these other guys. So yeah, he's he's just seeing where he's a little better right now, not pushing the issue. With 13 to go, he's just sizing up the leader. But that's your race for the win. If we don't get a caution, these two guys, one of these yeah. guys is gonna win this thing. They'll both be uh, having a really nice conversation with Kyler Hope when they bring those cars up as they are just so far ahead of the rest of the field. But I think you're right about Barber. There's something mechanical going on with that thing. And I haven't quite seen if he's pulled it off yet. We'll hopefully get a better camera shot coming up here on him. But uh, there it goes, Sam. Yeah, now corner entry, he's just so much stronger. It's an amazing job that guy has done behind the wheel. Well, you all the battles back yeah, tough right does. there. That's fantastic. Up. Not giving up. I absolutely love those in-car shots. And one thing I noticed about it, too, uh, you know, with the wipers going, these aren't exactly glass windshields in these things, I don't think. They're a, they're a Lexan-type material, which yes. really makes it difficult to see out of them. Yeah, no, not, not, the frost doesn't work too good. you got to yeah. reach up with your hand and clear the fog. There's Dylan well, Bewald with that in-car shot again. Right, right now. Oh, here it is. This is the battle for the lead right here. You got Thomas on the inside. Bewald running him down on the outside. Ah, this might be the time. 
No, he chooses not to slide up in front of him, so Bewald's gonna soldier back on the outside. That's what he's been doing the last few laps. Boy, these two are racing each other hard, and they're racing each other clean, and that is so cool to see. With Stanford now, as he really had a low run, and I don't know if Bewald maybe slipped up a little bit, kind of got up the track. You see him <laughs> clearing yeah. off his windshield. A phenomenal shot right there, but that's just something that you guys got to do. Man, that's that's the pass for the win right there for Stanford. I I can't see Bewald being able to run him back down. Um, Stanford's looking strong, looks strong coming from his starting spot all the way to the lead here. Just eight laps to go. These two guys are uh, battling it out for third. The four car Rarden and. Reardon has uh, spent a lot of time in the Hornet division. Had a lot of fun racing with his dad, Gary, for several years, too. And, Last and year's champion in the Hornet yeah, division. Yeah, I know. That's it's fantastic. Really impressive and looking good. The car nice looks good. Car. It I does. like the car. It really Those two does. cars look really, really great. Mike Jensen uh, started off strong in the race. Don't know if he's had a, a mechanical bugaboo coming on, but, boy, it is all Thomas Stanford now as we're coming up on five laps to go, working lap number 24 out of 30 here on our main event, our final race for the night here, opening night at Evergreen Speedway. Seems to be a theme these last couple races. We, does, get, huh? we get a leader that puts uh, some domination down and gets checked out here. Good rain setups under these guys. Yeah, they've got it. Uh, Stanford especially has got this figured out. This has been the, the impressive display of the night, if you ask me, and that's Thomas Stanford in that number 19. Uh, Dylan Bewall's hanging in there as best he could. He'll come out of this with a good finish as we have five to go. Oh, look Jensen at Jensen got hanging it free. on there. Got it free. He's hanging on. He's got good brakes on that thing, too. We know those work really well because, boy, he had that pedal all the way down to the floor <laughs> trying to save that thing. Looking good coming out of the... Uh, he got our front stretch and he got the 521, the our 2018 Hornet champion, battling the four, which is our 2019 Hornet champion. Right now, it's the, the battle to be the, the fastest former Hornet driver. Yes, sir. It works out. Thomas Stamford now with three laps to go with about a 10 car length lead over the very impressive run tonight. I think <clears throat> Dylan Bewald has nothing to be ashamed of no. after this one. He's no, really he's, had an impressive run. He looks great in the rain. I mean, as good as that 19 car is, yeah. Bewald is not. I mean, there's a little bit of a gap there, but but that, that B1 car is strong. And Stanford has earned every bit of real estate he has gained tonight. Boy, that, like Jeff had mentioned several times, that thing is really set up to run good on a sloppy track. And here he comes now out of turn number four. He should have the white flag <laughs> coming up next time by. Well, if you're asking me, that 19 car's got a little bit of a late model look to it. It does. It, it does. really does. <clears throat> it's a really well set up. It, the body is hung on white it. White flag here. White flag is out for Thomas Stanford in the number 19, Dylan Bewald in the second spot. And then I think we go back to Cole Reardon in that third spot. So we'll bring those three up out of there turn number is. four. It is. There's your Congratulations. winner. Yeah, Thomas very Stanford. well done. Thomas Stanford. And look at the lead those two had. Yeah, Dylan Bewald. What a show. Great job. Hard fought second place. And some incredible in car. I tell you, that kid, that one shot, and it's so amazing how much a, a second can really impact you. But yeah, that shot of him wiping off the windshield, that was really, yeah. really cool. Yeah, it gives so, you an idea of how, how low visibility oh, you have yeah. in the rain. Because you got the heat of the motor. The You know, we don't have fenders or, or inner liners. Yep. The water's hitting the header. It's coming up. Steam's coming into the cockpit. I'm telling you, it's, a, yeah. it's not easy to race these in the rain. It's pretty impressive. We're going to wait <clears throat> and uh, get some, I think, pretty cool comments from our top three from Kyler Hope. We thank Kyler for being with us tonight and all season long. And while we got a second here, we will make sure and thank all of you for checking us out on CW11 and all the fine folks at Evergreen Speedway for giving us the opportunity. There he is. Hard fought victory. Climbing out of the car, Thomas Stanford.
So, I'm gonna bring up a sore memory. Last year, the season opener, you were 100 feet from winning. This year's season opener, you won it. Walk me through all the emotions right now. Oh man, the rain's scary, I tell you what, because yeah, you can crash any lap. I'm not gonna lie, I thought about that coming out of four. I thought, man, what if I just stabbed it and <laughs> looped it right here? Well, oh, that'd be terrible, but uh, man, what a race. It took me forever to get by Dylan. He he had the dry groove. The second groove was a little drier, and that's where the uh, that's where the grip was, and if I got out of that, I was toast, so it, it took some work getting by him, but uh, great work by the team. Got to thank all the sponsors, uh, APC Auto Spa, Easy Street Asphalt, Nitro Gear, Frost Livestock. Uh, it's it feels good you know you work all winter and you come out here and get a dub it, it feels awesome a very relieved thomas stanford in victory lane tonight and dylan bewald climbs out so you led quite a few laps there how how relieved is it to get out front of the field for for a, quite a few laps and lead a very strong field of mini stocks yeah you know, it, was, it was good it was nice i mean i knew this, this car's done good in the rain before so we kind of had a good feeling going into this obviously it sucks being in the rain but i kind of felt like i had a little bit of an upper hand and it did pretty well I did my best to hold off stanford but you know in the end he got around me but still fun <laughs> what does the second place finish mean to you moving forward in this uh shortened season well i think it's a good start of the season especially and it's the highest I've finished in this car in this class so far, so that's also really cool. All right, Dylan Bewald looking to carry some momentum in 2020. Cole Raritan moving up from Hornets, making his mini stock debut. New car for you. How did it feel out in the rain? Uh, it was slippery. <laughs> it felt good, though. Uh, yeah, I mean, car ran great, handled good. My crew's amazing. Got the tires right. It's all right. So you had quite a good battle there with Jensen and Barber. Kind of walk me through uh, trying to figure out which line was fastest, high line preferred, sometimes the low line, just trying to find grip in the tight three-car battle. Oh, man, I saw Barber getting loose every rate, every corner, and, and uh, it was just patience and wait, wait for an opportunity to go around him. All right, Cole Raritan coming home third place tonight at Evergreen Speedway. All right, nice looking field, and what a great race that was, and uh, so much fun to watch. Jonathan Sanford, congratulations to all the winners tonight. We've got just under a minute before we got to get out of here. Jeff, thank you so much for doing this. Oh, a lot of great. fun, huh? Great doing it with you, Steve. Thank you very much. We're going to be back next uh, Sunday, and we're going to be bringing you some stuff that is going to be pretty special, and that is our 4th of July celebration. Everybody have a safe, safe 4th of July, and hope you did, and uh, we'll look forward to seeing you. Special thanks also to CBS and Seattle CW11 for uh, allowing us to uh, be a part of this, and to all of you people that are going to be tuning in and your support of evergreen speedway means a lot uh don't forget we've got a lot of stuff going on thanks again to monroe grocery outlet tonight for being our sponsor and all the people you see them as the uh, camera goes by the all the, the billboards all of those people mean so much back we'll see you here next week we invite you to come back on cw11 Thanks for watching Evergreen Speedway's Home Track Heroes on CW11. Join us next week for more great racing from Evergreen Speedway.